So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here, and today we just have a little bit of figure news to go over, so let's get into it right away. Alright, so starting it off with Mafex right here, we have their boys figures, and this right here, we're going to be getting the deep. As we've known for a while now, we are also going to be getting Soldier Boy. If I'm going to get any figure or character from this line, it's definitely going to be Soldier Boy, because he was awesome in, in Season Three. I'm not the biggest fan of the boys, but it's cool that Mafex is making these figures. So next here we have Best Action, and we have their TMT IDW Comics Allopex. I know a lot of people have been wanting a figure company just to make this character, and, and she does look pretty awesome. I never got up to her in the comics, but I definitely want to get this whenever it releases. Her and Rat King should be releasing very soon. So now continuing here with NECA Toys, they are going to be making another diorama set, but of the cartoon Ninja Turtles sewer layer and this is going to be releasing august of this year and it did just go up for pre-order but you can only get it on neko's online store but i mean I, I love that they keep doing these diorama sets i mean we had the building one before now we're getting this and then i, I believe we're getting donnie's lab or we have gotten the lab for donatello before so they're really doing an awesome job with this type of stuff just to add to your display with your figures and and the the turtle layer here looks pretty awesome and then continue continuing with NECA we have their last Ronin Casey freaking Jones not sure yet when he's going to be releasing but I'm guessing maybe sometime in the summer or early summer or something like that but he probably will go up for pre-order very soon as well you can see he is loaded with a bunch of accessories hands faces you have his mask and then a bunch of his weapons bats he get a sledgehammer the cricket bat and a hockey stick and then the golf bag to hold everything in but the Casey Jones here looks awesome it does pretty much resemble how he does in the Last Ronin comic book as well. But but I'm loving this Team and T Last Ronin line. They are just absolutely killing it with these figures. I just ordered Leo, so I should have that in any day. Now, moving on here to some third-party stuff. This right here is a rip-off shirt accessory from Can Customs. It's a very limited release. It did sell out on 5K Toys. So hopefully they'll do another run of them. But as of now, no word on that. But it is a very cool accessory for Goku. Now, for Beast D they are going to be making a Z version of Broly, which is much needed. I'm definitely going to have to get this. There is going to be three different versions as well, so this is awesome. If you missed out on the Z version of Broly, Beast Deities has got your back. Not sure when it's releasing yet, but it will very soon and go up for pre-order as well. And I'll let you know once it does. So now moving on to SH Figure Arts, we have the Dragon Ball GT version of Trunks, and he will be releasing later this year in November. And he is a premium Bandai exclusive, but he is up for pre-order right now. So if you want to get this Trunks, you can pre-order him on premium Bandai. And he will be included with the basic accessories, faces, hands. And then he also has another accessory for the Kid Goku. But, I mean, the figure looks pretty cool. I'm not a fan of this version of Trunks. I know a lot of people are. And if you're building up a GT collection, you're definitely going to want to add this in your collection. But you can see the accessories included with, with Kid Goku is his tail. So that's definitely awesome. Then next here, we have the SH Figure Arts Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Spider-Punk, he is going to be releasing July of this year. And he did recently go up for pre-order as well so if you want to get this figure because it looks awesome you can pre-order him right now but the paint sculpt detail just looks fantastic on the figure you can see he does have the unmasked head sculpt the guitar and everything and then of course he's gonna have alternate hands and stuff but pretty damn cool looking figure here i know there's a lot of fans of spider punk then next here we have the sh figure arts ahsoka from the ahsoka disney plus series she's also going to be releasing july of this year and she recently also went up for pre-order as well and i had to pre-order one for myself even though i pre-ordered the mafex one but she does come with this accessory i forgot what it was you have the uh one that's not, not broken then the one that's cut in half then she has her uh hooded cloak as well which looks pretty cool nice and tattered up and then you get the uh the hilts with the lightsaber blades one regular or a pair of regular and then a pair where she's swinging them around but man the faces on this ahsoka look fantastic then next here we have the sh figure arts demon slayer figures on display so we have tanjiro 
Zoro here, and then we have his lovely adorable sister, Nezuko, which I didn't pre-order her, but I did pre-order Tanjiro, and then they also had Giyu on display, and still no release date for him yet, they keep saying news about him is coming up soon, so stay tuned for that, I'm sure we're gonna get a release date and his pre-order date as well, but I mean, Giyu looks really good, the face sculpt and everything, like I said, I'm not a fan of their robes though. Then for Buzz Mod, we have our first look at the unpainted prototype of Sanami, and we're also going to be getting Genya, so we haven't gotten the Genya prototype yet, but Sanami here looks pretty damn awesome, and I think I'm going to have to get him, because I just love the Buzz Mod Demon Slayer figures. Still waiting on a goddamn Kyu Toro! Uh, but anyway, that is all the action figure news I have for you guys right now. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about these figures in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, I will catch you on the next episode of Daredevil 19, and I will also see you guys later! Start with revenge. I am the knight. Gonna change the future.